Hi, and welcome to another Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. Uh, I'm Sean from Cody Guitar, and uh, we've got another three-string Cigar Box Guitar Lesson. And um, we've done a few videos um, which are looking at slide playing, uh, specifically blues, 12-bar blues. Uh, here, we're just looking at uh, fretted um, playing, so just little sort of two-note chord shapes and things like that. So before we get into the lesson, if we just want to check we're in tune, uh, this is uh, what you'd class as sort of standard Cigar Box, three-string Cigar Box, tuning which is uh, open G. So it's G on the low string, D on the middle string, and G again on the high string. So if you want to make sure that that's all in tune. Um, so <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm using a thumb pick here. Uh, you, you don't have to. Uh, you, can, uh, you can just use your thumb and uh, fingers. You can use finger picks, um, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, we do have a few lessons uh, already. Uh, this is slightly more tricky. It's, um, it's got some uh, quite difficult sort of rhythmical uh, interplay between the thumb and the fingers and also the chord shapes. So it might be worthwhile checking uh, the sort of basic finger style lesson on our site, which is just looking at sort of separating rhythmically what your thumb and your fingers are doing. Um, and also there's a lesson on uh, actual 12 bar blues which sort of explains like the typical chord sequence that you'll get when you play in a, a blues um, which lasts for 12 bars before cycling round. So um, one, if you're comfortable with all that then we'll carry on. So what I'm going to do to start with, uh, I'm just going to show you how the, um, the right hand picking pattern goes. Um, so I'm not going to play any chords, uh, I mean, it actually sounds absolutely fine because that's a chord in itself, that's like a G power chord, the open strings. So I'm using a tiny bit of palm muting, again you go into more detail on the, the finger style lesson on our channel, and so my thumb is just playing on the beat. So we've got four beats in a bar, and then um, <clears throat> my fingers are going to be playing the higher two strings, so index finger on the middle D and uh, middle finger on the high G. And so I'm going to be plucking those with what you call free strokes, so I'm just plucking into my palm. And uh, I'm going to be playing those together to start with. So I've got a single thumb on its own, and then what you call a pull, where your thumb plays with your fingers at the same time. So I've played all three strings at once there. So I've got a single thumb, then I play together, pull and then another pull but then straight afterwards I'm going to play just with my fingers on their own so I've got thumb pull pull fingers straight back in with another thumb and then after that I'll just go through that again and I'll carry on so it's thumb pull pull again fingers thumb then I'm going to alternate with my index finger thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb. Okay, so I've got from the beginning, it's thumb, pull, pull, fingers, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, and then I'm going to do a final pull just on the index and middle. They're playing two notes right next to each other. So that is uh, two bars. <clears throat> so it's one, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and pull at the end, four, and so just single index. And so what's happening throughout that, my thumb is just keeping going on the beat. Okay. Now I would say that's definitely <clears throat> uh, more complicated than uh, the, the picking pattern that we we're doing in the, the slide 12 bars, so I'd spend a bit of time making sure that that's comfortable because can feel like you're throwing a bit of a spanner in the works when you start introducing variations with your left hand as well. Um, but moving on to what you're doing with your left hand, um, we've got another lesson on um, 
three string cigar box uh, chord shapes, so please check that out. But what we're using here is we're using a, a G7 <coughs> chord, so that's uh, fret three and fret four on the top two strings. And then we've got the, the open G still. So if I do the pull on that chord, it sounds like this. And then what I can do is I can add my third finger in on fret five of that middle string and that just becomes a normal G. So it's actually this note, the first finger note that's making it sound like a seventh, which is great for blues. Uh, so I'm just varying from normal G to G7. So we've got pull, pull fingers, and then the index finger on its own with that fret five note thumb, middle, thumb, back to the first finger, index, thumb, middle, so the middle keeps playing this, this note here, and then to finish off, I'm going to jump off that chord shape, drop down to fret two, and with my first finger on the, uh, the middle D string, and play index and thumb together, and then the last note is just that open D open middle string. Quite a lot there, I'll go around it again. So it's thumb, pull on the G7, another pull, G7 on its own, thumb, add this third finger in, index finger, thumb, middle, thumb, back to the uh, fret three, index, thumb, middle, drop down to fret two, pull with me index and then single index on its own. A bit slower. So what once you've got used to it, uh, rewind the video and see if you can sort of join them with this because this is the main sort of bulk of what's going on. Okay, <clears throat> so we're only going to do that twice. I've went around it several times just so you can get used to the feel of it, but we're only going to do it twice. Uh, which is the first four bars because it's a, it's a two bar riff um, and then we're going to jump up to C, the next chord. Um, so we were previously playing this using a uh, slide uh, but now we've got to bar it. So um, uh, this this can be quite tricky um, when um, when like my guitar students, like six string guitar students are trying to play bar chords they're typically a bit of a nightmare to start with. Um, so hopefully you'll find it a bit easier but they are still quite tough. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, get my thumb halfway down around the back of the neck uh, and um, I'm sort of pinching the um, strings, pinching the whole neck in between my index finger and my thumb. Okay. So I'm trying to get a really good sort of clamp on there. Now, if I, uh, I'm putting the pressure on from this middle portion of um, uh, the sort of back of my index finger, and my thumb is, is trying to do that. It's trying to sort of squeeze onto this, this middle part in between these, these two joints. Okay, um, and then obviously the strings are in the way. Uh, and that, that keeps my finger quite straight and so it allows me to get a good, good bar on the go. Um, I'm also tucking in pretty closely to the um, fret. So I'm trying to keep this all very much sort of in line with the fret, not, not diagonal. Uh, and I'm also even rolling off slightly onto the side of my finger. So that's sort of more the bony bit. You might find it a little bit painful or more painful to start with, um, but uh, I've, I've got a bit of a callus down there from barring, so it does, it does get easier. Um, but once we've got that, we're gonna try to add on an extra couple of notes. So um, you, you probably wanna just pick through and just make sure that all, all of your notes are ringing out the best, best you can um, to start with. Uh, but then one, once you've got that, uh, we're going to add on fret 7 with our third finger 
onto the middle string. Uh, and I'm, I'm trying to get a little bridge there just so you can see that. Just so I'm not catching string one underneath with that third finger. Uh, and then I'm even going to try and add my little finger up onto fret eight. <clears throat> um, so it's probably worthwhile here before we do the rhythm just practicing that left hand shape because that's that's quite it's quite physical. Um, get your wrist involved as well. Your wrist much stronger, more strong than your um, individual fingers. So if you, you bend your wrist a bit, <clears throat> then uh, it actually keeps your fingers a bit more relaxed and they won't run out of stamina so quickly. Um, so definitely run around that um, but then rhythmically it goes like this um, very similar thumb pull both fingers and then another pull but with my little finger on fret eight this time and then just the fingers but back to fret seven so I've got one two and then thumb and uh, take this off so that was fingers just on the bar itself um, and that that's a one bar um, riff that, which we're going to cycle so it's one two three We only actually do that for two bars, just uh, if you need to stretch your finger out there, it's quite physical. Um, depending on how your um, cigar box guitar is set up, you might find that quite tough. Uh, this is relatively high for slide as well, so um, I'm giving it a, a decent clamp, um, but I hope hopefully it's manageable. Uh, but we're only actually going to do that for two bars, and then we're just going to drop back down and just do the first one again. And then I'm going to run through the whole cycle in a minute. Um, so it was four bars on G, bars five and six up on C, back to the G for bars seven and eight, and then bar nine we're going to go up to D. So we're just going to do exactly the same thing as we did on the, the C, but this time up on fret seven. So the same, same bar, um, the same extra notes added in, this time on fret nine and fret ten. So it's one, two, I'm just going to stop there on beat four on the thumb because I've got to do a quick change down. I'm not going to make it too difficult. So literally just going to go one, two, three, four. Down to the C. Let's just do the same thing. One, two, three, four. And then back to the G. Um, instead of, if you remember what we did on this, the C, we went one, two, three, it back round. That final and at right at the end, let's let's do it on the open G when we go back to G. Which would sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Okay, so that was bars uh, nine and ten. And bar 11 is what we uh, normally call a turnaround in blues, which um, means we're coming to the end of the 12 bar, and so it's a nice way to, to round it off, and so we know that we're about to start another um, 12 bar. So this first one, what we're going to do is we're going to ascend up. So that's beat one, and then I'm going to go fret four. I'm just going to play the open, open G. Two, three, four. up there but I won't bother adding any extra notes in because that, that's, that's a D chord just with the bar. Um, 
So I would definitely go back round those individual parts um, of the 12 bar and um, see if you can just get, get your fingers around that and then I'll just play through the whole 12 bar quickly. So we've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. So definitely go around that. Um, there's another 12 bar, which is going to be very, very similar. We're just going to add in one extra little bit. So instead of just staying down, because we're on G for most of it. So instead of um, staying down here, I'm going to move up. So that diagonal shape for G7, if I played it on uh, frets 9 and 10 on the top two strings, that is also a G7 chord. Um, so. I'm going to do exactly the same pattern. So that's thumb, pull, pull, fingers, thumb. And then I'm going to do a little slide this time, which is going to be sliding from fret 10 to fret 12. So with a slide, you, you, you've got to keep the pressure on. Don't, don't relax your finger because you lose the note straight away. So it's... So I'm, I'm plucking fret 10 and immediately sliding up to fret 12. So it's a very nice sort of bluesy sound that. And then I'm using my third finger because my first finger is going to dive straight onto fret 10 of the, the high G. So that's on the middle D, first finger high G. So so all of that would sound like this. One, two, three, four. Do that again. One, two, three, four. Okay. If you wanted to get a little bit more of a flow to it, uh, just before the slide, you can you can put an open open D in, open middle string, which will sound like this. One, two, three, four, and. So I'm going to do all of that high uh, riff the, the second time round I play the G. Um, so I'm going to start down here for the first one. Um, uh, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and straight up. One, two, four. Four. Now, for this G, uh, I'm going to do another slight variation. I'm going to play the chord down here and I'm going to put that same slide in afterwards. So, um, rhythmically, it's all exactly the same. So, it just sounds like this one, two, three, four. Uh, right, so we only go round that once, but I'll, I'll go round it a couple of times just so you can get a feel for it. So it's three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Again, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We'll go to the D. Exactly the same, and the C exactly the same, and then this time let's do a different turnaround. So instead of ascending up the low G, 
we're just going to descend down the middle uh, D. So from fret three, and I'm going to play the open uh, string, open high string, open high G in between. And then because we're finishing off, I don't want to finish on a D. As soon as I finish on a D, it wants to go back round another cycle, but we're only doing two 12 bars, so I'm just going to finish on a high uh, G7. Effectively, what we slid into before, if I just strum it, that's, that's like a, a G7 chord. Another one. So you can hear the sound, sound quite similar. Um, okay, so all of that second 12 bar would sound like this. Two, three, four. So um, putting both 12 bars together uh, would sound a bit like this. So if you want to play along, we'll, we'll do one, then two, and then we'll, we'll do it all again just for practice. So two, three, four. Same again. C. So that's it. Um, I hope that's all right. Um, enjoy playing that. And uh, please, if you uh, like um, this content, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, like I said, there's loads of other um, cigar box and normal guitar stuff on there. Um, and uh, we're going to be adding content regularly throughout the rest of the year. So uh, we look forward to seeing you here again soon on Code Guitar.